Hello everyone, today I will show you how to paint Coven Throne for Vampire Count's army. I started from preparing the parts and removing the mold lines. First I assembled the Ghost Swarm. I used clamps until glue was dry. I assembled bone frame and other parts of the palanquin. When both parts of Ghost Swarm were properly glued, I covered them in a grey primer. I undercoated also all other parts. I made pre-shading using black paint. I applied base green color, I used pale green from Vallejo Air Color. Then I applied camel light green to the upper parts. Last step was painting pale spots with mix of camel light green and white. I painted metal parts using mix of bolt gun metal and tin bits. I like this color very much and I even mixed two paints in one pot to keep this paint prepared for further use. I added shades using turquoise ink. After washing, I added rusty pigments. I mixed dark red rust pigment with isopropanol and applied this mixture to the metal parts. Rust effect depends on the amount of isopropanol you add to the pigment. 
I suggest you to make well thinned mixture to avoid creating too strong effect. Then I added Van Dyke Brown oil wash. I started painting the bone frame from medium camo brown. Next step was adding some highlights using sandy brown and light brown. Last highlight was made with sand color. I painted flames using lime green. I painted floor of the palanquin using German grey. Using soft brush I made dry brush with astronomical grey. I painted the pillows using red, orange and purple. It seems a little strange to me, but one pillow has a rip. A feeling from this pillow looks like guts. I'd rather not to think what is hidden in the other pillows. I added clear red paint to these guts. Here we have the finished part. I started painting the dress from Sandy Brown. Then I made the highlights using Radon Tan. When painting was done, I masked it using Liquid Mask. Then I painted second part of the dress and masked again. I applied red colors to the dress.
when paint was dry, I removed the mask. I painted the game's turquoise and highlighted them with a mix of turquoise and white paint. I also made lining using Radom 10. I applied old gold to the cauldron. I painted the filling of the cauldron using gory red. I painted the dress of the oldest vampire using a mix of warlock purple and burnt amber. I painted details of the miniatures. Here we have the painted coven. I started painting the canopy from Panzer Brown, then I painted creams white and covered them in a scarlet red. I attached front skeletons to the palanquin. I mounted Coven on the palanquin. I assembled the canopy.
By the way, in assembly manual there is serious mistake. According to the manual, I should assemble the cauldron first. The chance that cauldron thief will fit to the dress hollows is minimal. I suggest to assemble the vampire first, then cauldron. Last minutes of work I spent making the bases. I prepared pine tree bark pieces, painted them black, dry brushed cold grey and painted the rest of the base graveyard turf. If you want to see more about basing the miniatures, check out my other vids. The finished model looks like this. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please share it with your friends on Facebook or send them a link. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, please comment and subscribe.